a few months ago, I, I see things on Twitter that, that Piers had said about his love for Donald Trump and stuff that I disagreed with, but I think that's his own choice. I'm not gonna each to their own. Each yeah. to their own. I'm not going to pick him up on something like that. However, as you said, Will Young, who I don't know except maybe to say hello to at a, at a do or whatever, Will Young had left Strictly and it was being mooted by the press that he'd left because he didn't like the fact that Len had said nasty things to him about his dancing. I didn't believe that, but I didn't care one way or another. Then I read an article by Will Young, which said that he was diagnosed PTSD, post-traumatic stress uh, disorder, and that he had, this is what resonated with me, he said his anxiety and depression, I'm not quoting directly, I'm paraphrasing, but his anxiety and depression was so deep that he had thought about breaking his own leg to leave the show. Now, I know what that feels like to feel when you've been in a show and you can't let people down and you are so desperate to not have to go, but you don't feel that people will take you seriously if you say, I'm depressed. Whereas if you've broken your wrist, they will. He felt it wouldn't be taken seriously. Or misunderstood, yeah. And in misunderstood. Fact, what, what Piers responded so what with. What Piers then said was, he said on Twitter, Will Young did not have, does not have PTSD. He has WNTS, whiny, needy, twerp syndrome. Now, Piers Morgan, as far as I know, is not medically qualified in the psychiatric department to comment on whether the fuck Will Young has any kind of mental health condition at all. What he did that really, what he did by that statement was, you've got somebody who is just about to be prepared to talk about their condition because they've kept it a secret. They've maybe felt suicidal. They've kept it a secret from their family and friends, but they've at last been encouraged to find a quiet, timid voice to say, this is how I'm feeling. What he did in that one tweet is he closed them down and said, don't do it because we're gonna take the fucking piss out of you. Excuse my French, I just get so passionate about it. Well, he shut all those people down who don't have a voice and he has six million Twitter followers and it's outrageous. Little Betty from Bolton who is feeling suicidal and has no one to talk to and no one to help her looks at these people and thinks, well, look what they're saying about somebody in the public eye. That's what people might say about me if I speak out. So they don't. And that's when we hear the tragic consequences. And that's when we hear about the suicides. And that's why I speak out against those people. That's it. Thank you.